Thank you. This is the uh, November 19th meeting of the Charter Review Committee here in the City Hall hearing room. Uh, uh, we have seven members present, absent are Molly Fox and Patty Keeley, and Alan Seawall, the non-voting member, is uh, also not here. Um, our first order of business is approval of the minutes from the uh, public forum on October 29th. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Approved unanimously. Not seeing any public, I will assume that there is a public comment. Do any uh, committee members have updates on any topics? Uh, they aren't otherwise on the agenda. No, okay. Um, we began a discussion uh, on October 29th about the, uh, uh, the request by the uh, Council President O'Donnell to include the prohibition of privatizing municipal water resources and infrastructure adopted by ordinance 2016 in the charter. For discussion purposes, uh, we will need a motion to take that off the table. Uh, so uh, we're in favor of taking it off the table for further discussion. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstention? I invited uh, Councilor O'Donnell to come tonight to address the questions that um, some of us raised uh, at that October 29th meeting, um, he acknowledged the invitation, um, uh, and he's not here. So, my assumption at this point is that he will not be here. Um, I do want to share two pieces of information that um, we've received uh, in the interim. Uh, at Bob's request, uh, Alan, uh, who knew he would not be here tonight, uh, offered uh, his thinking on on this uh, request, and I, I will. And I believe you have a copy of this, right? An email from yesterday. I have. Uh, I it did was not copied print. to you uh, at 7:56 a.m. yesterday. Yeah, no, I got it. I guess I wasn't. Yeah, I did. Well, I, I just want to make sure that you you, you do have that. Oh, I definitely you. have okay. it. Yes. So, uh, Alan's. Uh, uh, email reads, while I cannot say that placing the water system item in the charter would be illegal, as a current policy position, it is inconsistent with the nature of a municipal charter. The charter serves as a foundation document that organizes city government and determines how it will operate. Whether or not the city sells any component of its water system is not in any way related to the organization of government. Currently, there are strong policy positions in the city on immigrants, pesticide use, face recognition systems, etc. Should those issues be in our charter? We have a pristine charter, and I am loath to see it larded with current policy positions. The effect of such a charter provision would not be to eliminate the possibility of selling a component of the water system. Instead, it would simply transfer the decision from the city legislature to the state legislature. That was Alan's um, response to Bob's uh, request for his thoughts on the, uh, on the, on the uh, transfer of the, the addition of the taking the ordinance and putting it into the charter. In addition to that, um, uh, Robbie uh, told me after the, uh, the meeting three weeks ago that her daughter, Julia, is a graduate student uh, specializing in water resource science and management uh, at Yale. And actually, uh, Robbie thought that Julia might be in town tonight and come and offer some uh, advice to us. Uh, she, was, she was not able to do that, but uh, she did provide this document, which, um, and I apologize for the lateness of distributing it to the student electronically, that's why you all have a, a physical copy of it. Uh, I would just summarize from it that um, According to this um, research that Julia has done, the trend is toward publicly owned water utilities. Uh, they are cheaper uh, generally to consumers, and that by maintaining uh, uh, municipally owned 
modern uh, water systems um, elected officials who are accountable to the, to the public are making major policy decisions rather than, um, than private officials. That is so, discussion? <coughs> um, well, first of all, Julia's document reinforces the good law that actually already stands here in, in, in our ordinances. And actually this, this is very affirming and I wish I wish I had this data when we went into the debate, although it wasn't controversial necessarily, but it would have, but it, this is certainly more expensive and granular and actually reaffirms everything that that I suspected. So that's that's good. At least they didn't make a big mistake. Um, the uh, Councilor O'Donnell's, I think you know, the irony here is, I don't, and no pun intended me to carry Councilor Ryan O'Donnell's water in this case, <laughs> but the, um, his expressed concern to me was, of course, as I think I said before, was he wanted it, this memorialized in a way that he thought would insulate and provide more protection against possible encroachment on the ordinance or modification of the ordinance. Um, while at the same time, I think um, Bob presented an, an argument at the last meeting and uh, and, and Solicitor Seawall is, is actually reinforcing it. I don't disagree with those arguments. I think that um, pristine document, a, a pristine charter, maybe, I don't know what that looks like. Maybe it looks like ours. But um, I do understand that we don't want to load up the charter with things, and actually it's interesting, we itemized all things that are pending, things that we actually haven't voted on yet, uh, about facial recognition, immigration protections, and everything else. Clearly it's been on his mind. Um, so I believe, uh, I, I actually, uh, want to affirm Councilor O'Donnell's concern and the, his stress on how important this is. But at the same time, I don't feel comfortable introducing this into the Charter um, for the reasons that, that have been explained. And it's too bad, although I'm glad that we have the pub a more public conversation. Well, when this came up in the Council, actually there wasn't much uh, there weren't many people there, and there weren't many people who were there for that issue, and it was interesting that the people who stayed at our last meeting actually were engaged in an issue that probably in many other cases never even crossed their minds being um, a possible problem. So I'm grateful for that. But so I'm not inclined to actually advance this into, uh, at least for me, a uh, recommendation. Further study 
first uh, uh, the first sentence in access to information. I we heard uh, a, a school committee candidate Gold speak to um, his concerns about access to information about running for office, and while well, that uh, I think we agreed did not rise to the level of discussion for the charter. I did add a phrase uh, at the end of that sentence referencing the mechanics of running for office as something that um, had been expressed to us as um, something that might be uh, merit further, uh, you know, further study. Uh, so that's, uh, that was another phrase that was added. And in addition, because uh, Alan knew that he was unable to be here tonight, I did ask him to review it last week and he turned it to me with several, uh, I would characterize them as kind of housekeeping um, uh, revisions, such as uh, you'll see in the, uh, in the first paragraph, specifics about being enacted by special act of legislature, uh, ST 2012, city 77, ratified by the voters in right hand on November 6, 2012. They were not uh, substantive in nature. They Otherwise, uh, Alan has signed off on, on this. Uh, again, I want to I want to make sure that no one has any concerns about uh, what's included in here. Uh, any uh, suggestions that, uh, that, that, that if there's additional information that you want included in the summary, additional things you want to highlight. So now is the now is the time to, to speak. To that. Anyone? No, I think it's really well done, and I think it did a really good job of boiling down a year's worth of work with not loaded document. <laughs> um, there's a typo, correct? Yes, where is that typo? In expanding the electorate, one, where it says the Green New Deal, the last sentence, there's a Q. In the electric one, at least. Um, Anyone else? The, the attachment two is the, uh, it's a hard copy of the Google Doc that has served as a uh, uh, documentation of our work uh, through the year. Uh, it includes all of the recommended changes. Uh, and, and specifically, in addition to those that I mentioned in the in the, uh, in the draft, in the summary, in the executive summary, uh, the, the uh, housekeeping changes are found here. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Excuse me. It's about my car. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is too far away. Uh -oh. too. Stop. So this is uh, this is the annotated copy of the current city charter, which is the second part of the, uh, uh, the second part of the formal report that will be filed with the city clerk. The Google Doc will remain as part of uh, our website on, on the city's site as long as as long as it continues on our website continues to exist. Uh, but this is important. Uh, as a written uh, uh, record of all of the recommended changes. And uh, again, you know, it, 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 uh, it's, it's something that Sam has maintained uh, uh, magnificently, but if, if you, any of you see anything in here that you don't recognize, please, please speak up, okay? I went over this this afternoon and it seems, you know, I'm going to parrot Dylan in this one. This also seems.
Does the committee feel uh, ready then to actually vote to approve this as our final report? responsibility is to file with the city clerk. Yeah. And from there, it will then go on to the council. So, uh, is there a second to Bill's motion? A second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, Bob. Um, in, the, in, the, in the writings, it says, we go out of business when the report is filed with the city clerk. Yes. Do we want to dissolve ourselves? Well, we have to file it by December 31st. Correct. We do not, I think, I mean, the purpose of our requesting a meeting with the current city council, which is scheduled for December 5th, was so that we could still, as a standing committee, um, address the council and answer its questions. Correct. So it will not be filed before that. December 5th. Correct. That's sort of what I'm getting at. Yes. I think the dissolution is on that because it's an ad hoc committee. So that, it, that, that so far as we want to disband as a body, we can't. We are, our charge was date certain. I know I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There'll be hugs all around. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> There's 22 uh, other boards and committees. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. Just cross. Well, yeah, yeah and then probably Link can give you that in one minute. City Council on December 5th before we actually file the, right. the report. That's what I was getting at specifically. Yes. You know, do we want to be officially disbanded before we have an opportunity to speak as a committee? Uh, right. So the answer is, is no, we don't want to be disbanded. Right. We, we want to have all our full stature still in town. Mm -hmm. on December 5th. All the no's and no's. Okay. Uh, any other discussion about the, uh, the final report? All right. Annie, please. Council Dwight. Yes. Sam Hopper. Yes. Stan Moulton. Yes. Robbie Sullivan. Yes. Bob Bullrace. Yes. Dylan Gaffney. Yes. Lynn Simmons. Yes. Patty Healy. Okay, so that is uh, unanimous eight to nothing. I, um, I, I feel, uh, and if, if, if I'm going to run a foul of any laws here, please alert me. Um, uh, I would like to. I would like this to be a, a, a you know a, a nine zero vote, and Molly can't be here tonight, so I, I would like to ask her to to cast her vote, um, however she wishes to. But uh, 
Did she call in? She no. Well, you can. You can, we do allow remote participation, but even now she's not participating remotely. So she's not while the meetings convene. She's not in public. It would be, even if she submitted on email, I don't think it would be a public vote for her. It would qualify. I'm not sure. I mean, Alan's the person to talk to, of course, he's in Mikado now. So I don't, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's, it's certainly worth soliciting. For instance, she can submit a memo with expressing her opinion. Um, if she were so inclined, it could be added, but it wouldn't be included as the final vote. I understand why you would want a 9 0 vote, but I think that. Well, it's not so much wanting a 9 0 vote, it's wanting to include Molly in the, in the final vote. I mean, ultimately, that's the decision of the person who is participating or not participating. Because we're a public meeting and a public body, Molly submitting via email would not be. Part of the public meeting. I mean, you wouldn't want to follow, and I pretty much can guess what she would vote. I think she would vote in the apartment of probably. But I'm not, I'm not so sure where that falls in open meeting law. Because that's not participating remotely. That's unless you talk about temporally, she's remotely participating in a different time. But it, that we didn't add into, uh, into the ordinance itself. Were you looking to try to do that before submitting to council? Like, was the intent to submit to council and say we've had a unanimous 9-0 vote? So the only thing we could do is, depending on what you were thinking for presenting to council on the 5th, can be a meeting at 6.30. Right. For a second vote. Um, okay, uh, I think that probably is uh, our best avenue um, to uh, have a meeting at 6.30 uh, on December 5th. Uh, we, are, we are on the council agenda for that night already. Um, and we'll, meet, we'll do that here. And, uh, well, and we can just verify the location, though, just right. because sometimes Thursdays there's issues. Okay. The Ag right. Committee points. Can you check? Can yeah. you make sure that um, the Ag this room, there's this room is available between 6:30 and 7, and uh, we will we will only. So I, I do want to um, hear from the committee uh, tonight on the uh, talking points that you really want to emphasize when we address the sitting the current city council on December 5th. I know that a number of you felt strongly that we should um, we should take that opportunity to, to uh, address the council and point it out. So what what are the talking points that you want? It's important to emphasize all the public forums. Mm -hmm. Just kind of go through that first part of the um, document. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, I think it's important to note that for, for virtually all of the recommendations, there was a unanimity.
do you, does anybody envision, um, uh, this, who's making this presentation? And is it being split up or uh, is it one person? Uh, I'm open to um, whatever the committee desires. Um, uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't know how much time the council is, is expecting to spend on this, but we don't. There's no timer on you. Okay. This, uh, the, this is this is a report of a of a ad hoc committee to a seated body. There's no limit on the time. <coughs> I'm, I would make a plea that it about lasts more than 15 minutes. That's a personal plea because I'll be sitting during this presentation, not participating in the presentation. Yeah. Uh, but that's just me being selfish. I think if, uh, you know, be as expansive as you want. And, then, and also, there will be questions about in all likelihood. So. Yes. Or at the very least, lots of gratitude and congratulations. So, so. Well, Robbie, what were you thinking? I just, I, I just wasn't sure. I, I was trying to see how it's going to play out. Do you feel comfortable making the entire presentation? Uh, I would. Uh, my my thought would be the same, and I would mm -hmm. would share that. that would be my next and but I also want to be clear that any of you who want to speak that night should should step up and speak. And I mean, this is uh, this is an opportunity for all of us to say, you know, give, to sort of give our reflections on this uh, uh, work that we've done this year. I, well, I feel comfortable having you and Sam speak for me. So. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need to speak. I, I, also feel, I believe that it's to have some uniformity with the, the people who've chaired, mm -hmm. uh, to share the, the way it's presented. and to, I, I think it's easier to take in that information and that the two of you have really worked on the great detail of how we worked as a committee, which I appreciate greatly. I don't think I could ever take this on the way you two did. And Bob certainly yeah. worked on the document. Um, I think perhaps we could, if there were questions, if you felt that it, they would be better answered by a member of the group mm -hmm. and someone had a particular mm -hmm. interest, that would be probably more That's efficient. Think. Someone has a question on range. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah. yeah, somebody had a very strong opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a question on the city clerk, and you can address it. Mm -hmm. Information resources. Okay. That, that, <laughs> and you can get all the glory. No. <laughs> I mean, you'll, I you'll, you'll introduce everyone, of course, and mm -hmm. explain who was on the committee, and, and you'll describe the process and the presentation of the report, um, open mm -hmm. up to questions by the counselors. Um, so, it's not going to go read it before the meeting? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like realistically, right? Yeah. Like, so well, I think some good. will. Yes, some will. Some, some mm -hmm. might not. Some kind of like join lame duck status, right? Yeah. So, kind of find something else to do with that fifteen minutes in their day. So, uh, but but it will be made available. Laura has no, asked no. me <laughs> what uh, what materials we want to put before the council to, to, for them to prepare for their discussion with us. So the, the final report, both documents will be will be uh, posted with the, with the, with the council agenda. And so Which was, is two days before. Yeah, I'm going to get it to her by next Tuesday. We can, can I also request, and maybe you've already thought of this, sending out to all council elect mm -hmm. that they be present as well. Yes. Because they're required mm -hmm. to be present. To, yes. Because I think that would be, given, yes. given the fact that we may call upon you again as a non formal committee to come make the presentation as well. <coughs> That's entirely possible, again, in the new term. Well, I would, I would certainly hope so, and I will certainly, um, I will be certain to make sure that all of you know if, um, when the the new council will be taking this up, so that if you, if you, you know, want to want to attend, um, so I would encourage you to do that. But yeah, that's a great idea, Bob. I'll, I'll invite uh, all the, uh, the newly elected councilors. I also uh, 
sent a press release to the usual places um, uh, saying that we are making a presentation. Um, I just I feel that for the purposes of it being public record and there could be people watching at home, that we should go through all of the major recommendations, mm -hmm. right? Like oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh is that is that what yes. you were asking? I don't, yeah, yeah, I just right. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. Right, right, right. Yes. I think we can cover that in the 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, so I heard um, we'll cover the major recommendations, the public forums, the unanimity or near unanimity of the uh, opinions expressed to us. Are there other things that um, the committee wants to make sure that we um, communicate? I think the near unanimity of our votes as well. And I know in looking back at the charter review debates in the past, there are many five, four, and of things. Mm -hmm. and that was remarkable in looking back through the document. I don't know what it says about it, but we all felt in line on this. I think that we're on board with what we heard. And I'd like to point out that unlike our predecessor committee, which left several items on the table for us to grapple with, we are doing no such thing to our success. Good point. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you say that <laughs> better than I just did, but uh, I think it is wrong that we, we, we took on all issues that came through the door and under the transom. And then some. And then we made up some. <laughs> <laughs> to also mention that how, I'm sure you would not not do this, but how grateful we are to the staff people who worked on uh, all yeah. of this with us mm -hmm. and how responsive, uh, quickly responsive and professional you both were with um, working with us around difficult issues sometimes and also um, providing the information we needed in a timely fashion. And also very good um, advice. I think knowledgeable advice. Um, it was very helpful to me to participate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, we won't meet uh, in December, other than that meeting on uh, December 5th at 6 30. We won't meet December 3rd or, or uh, December 2nd. Uh, can any can you on the website? Um, our our meeting schedule is listed. Can you remove those meeting mm -hmm. dates so that um, no one will mistakenly think that um, we're here on those two Tuesdays? Mm -hmm. And um, you might add uh, the December fifth meeting at six thirty. Okay. So. Um, I, I, I just I wanted to offer a few thoughts here uh, tonight uh, because this is the last sort of substantial meeting that we'll have. And I, I think that um, I think we should be very proud of this um, work that we've done. I think this is a, an extremely substantial report. It is uh, very broad. It is far-reaching. And I think that it has been adopted um, in whole or, or substantially um, eventually that it will, it will be something that is uh, going to be viewed as extremely um, important uh, in the city's uh, history. And, and I think it will address questions of equity and access
success and diversity that we've grappled with this year and will have a long, uh, a long impact for the city. So I think that uh, we can all be very proud of this, this work that we've, that we've done together. And echoing what a couple of people have already said, I think that we all brought different perspectives to our work and um, we, uh, I, I am, I am uh, very proud that you all um, took this so seriously and we deliberated and we did reach ultimately um, in virtually all of our votes uh, unanimity in our, in our positions and uh, that speaks I think volumes and, and will I hope go a long way to ensuring that as the city council and the mayor and ultimately the, the state legislature uh, takes this up, that, uh, that it will be, um, uh, be a factor in, in considering the, the approval of, of our recommendations. Um, I too would like to thank uh, Annie uh, for your conscientious and diligent service to us. Um, your, you're just you're very thorough and, and your extensive minutes will also be a part of the record for perpetuity. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's been it's been a pleasure for me to as all of you know and I want to support together to do that to work again with you because you are a gem and the city, the city is fortunate to him. Lynn, thanks for your contributions, um, even staying on with us after you started down in Long Meadow. As, uh, as Patty mentioned, um, you've done a lot of the work behind the scenes that, that helped um, tremendously um, in reach for us to reach our goals. Um, Bill, I appreciate the fact that while you consistently uh, made the point that you were not speaking for the whole council, uh, you are a fount of, of knowledge uh, and good humor, and, um, and certainly uh, uh, gave us a lot of stage and I appreciate that very much. Sam, you've been a tremendous, well, I view you as a co-chair. Um, you've had um, great insights. You've taken on a lot of responsibility to perform exceptionally well. And to me, uh, you're exactly the kind of young leader that I hope, uh, I hope you stay in Northampton and that you <laughs> contribute. Yes, um, and I, I really, the strength of this committee was in all of you. And um, it's, been, it's been a pleasure for me uh, to work, work with you. It's really been an honor, so thank you. Thank you, Stan. Really. Stan, um, I can steal some of your thunder by applying it to you. Um, I'm grateful that, first of all, you reaffirmed my uh, my sage thought that you should be chair of this <laughs> committee. And, and I think what you just described, for instance, the unanimity, but also the civility by which this whole transaction has occurred, and that's do in the main to your guidance and your your shepherding this. I'm, I'm, um, this is one of the more effective committees I've I've been part of, particularly ad hoc committee. And this is not this isn't easy stuff. This is this is pretty tricky stuff. I mean, to Bob's point and Dylan's point, the other one was more contentious. It makes sense because they were basically redrafting the entire charter, so there would have been more clashes. But to Bob's point, we picked up. The stuff that was left over that was considered too difficult to approach or too hot, and we took it on. And the, I think the unanimity, as I said, had a lot to do with the civility of the discourse and also with the fact that the community is more reconciled to some of these ideas than they perhaps were before. So, um, yeah, our our good work is much to do with you than anything else. So thank you. Thank you. I'd like to second that as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, I will confess that at times I was a little frustrated at the pace. But it is the case <laughs> that your deliberative manner allowed the conversation yeah. that we needed to hear. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And the quality of the product bears, bears heavily on, on your leadership of, of that process. So my, my compliments, for sure. Thank you.